Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a free website and get a free custom domain to connect the two. So it's going to be, we're going to be using Google Sites to create the website and then getting a TK domain, .tk domain from Freenom. So here's an example, this is my site, darshk.tk. Here I just post the written versions of tutorials. So you can find this tutorial there, it's going to be all written. So first go to freenom.com to get your free custom domain. So you're going to type in the domain that you want and then add .tk to the end of it. So I'm going to do you choose .tk just for the purpose of the video. And then click check availability. And then once it's selected, then you can click check out. If it's not selected, it's probably unavailable. So you just find a different domain. Here change this period in the drop down to 12 months, then click continue. Okay, so now just use the social sign-in, so the Google sign-in, so click it and then select your Gmail account. And remember the Gmail that you're using for this, you'll need it later. Okay, so once you're signed in, hold on, I don't know why this is taking forever. Okay, there we go. So it's gonna give you like this verification email. So you have to go to your Gmail and then open the link to verify. So go to gmail.com. Okay. So now open the email and click that link. Then you can close out the, of the Gmail and the other Freenom tab. Okay, so now in this new tab, we're gonna put in all of our information in here. It doesn't have to be correct, it's really weird. I don't know why it doesn't have to be correct, but like I'm just gonna put random information and hopefully it takes it. So I'm just gonna put something in the company name. Something random in the address, because I don't want these people knowing my info big boy drive or something like that. Random zip code. That's five. Yep. Okay. And then city, La La Land. Just put Alaska. I don't know. Put a random phone number. Okay, so now just click the green check and then click complete order, the blue complete order button. Oh my gosh, I don't know why everything's so slow. Sorry about that. Hopefully it loads soon. Okay, finally. Okay, so you're gonna get this error message. Well, I don't know. I'm on Mac, so maybe it's just on Mac. Maybe it's not on Windows. But if it's if you're on a Mac and this happens, then just uh, delete the index.html and then go to my.freenom.com. Sign in with the same email, the same Gmail that you used for the Google sign in. Now you should see your name. Hello, your name. Go to services and then my domain. Is Okay, I'm gonna sign in again. Might log you out too, so just sign in again. Okay, so same thing. Go to my domains from the services. Make sure that your domain that you registered is there. And then click the manage domain button that's right there. Okay, so now don't touch any other settings. Just click manage Freenom DNS. This is the only thing we should be touching. I mean, you can touch it if you want. You can touch everything else if you want, but if you want it to work, it might not. So change the type to CNAME and let's just open a new tab and go to our Google site. So I don't have one created right now. So if you have one created, just click on that and open it up. I'm just gonna create a new site.
Okay, so now you should see the three dots next to the publish button. Click it for more and then click custom URLs. Now here, put in the domain that you registered. So for me, it's youchoose.tk and that should be it. And then now you should click verify your ownership just to make sure that you own it and you're not just like making people's websites go to your Google site. So now once you log in, go scroll down in this drop down menu and then go to other. Here click add a CNAME record. The TXT record doesn't work. Copy the first value, go to Freenom DNS management and paste it in the name. Copy the second value and then paste it in the target and then click save changes. Make sure it was CNAME though. Okay, so now we have to add one more thing so that when we go to www.youchoose.tk, it will go to our Google site. So in the name, put www, in the target, put ghs.googlehosted.com. Has to be exact, otherwise it won't work. In the type, just change it to scene it. That's it, click save changes. Okay, so now when it says record added successfully, we can go back to the verification thing, and then click verify. But sometimes it doesn't verify right away, it takes some time for it to update. So just wait, be patient, sometimes it can take up to 5 minutes for it to update. But I'm just gonna click verify, because maybe it'll work. Okay, so it worked for me, I guess I'm lucky, or something, I don't know. So now you can exit out of that tab, If once it's verified. Go back here, delete the K, put it back in, just so it updates refreshes then once you see the per the white check with the purple circle around it around it just click assign now you should see your domain with the trash icon just click cancel now here we're gonna click publish for the people who created a new site but for the people who already had their site made there should be a drop down menu next to publish and then there should be an option for publish settings and it should bring you to this menu right here so just make sure that the web address is valid. Now you should see in the custom URL section, when published, this site will also be viewable at www.youchoose.tk. Once you see that, just click the publish button. Okay, so now it says your site has been published successfully, open a new tab, and then you can go to the website. Sometimes it won't load because it Again, it takes time for it to update. Not everything is super fast. See, like right here, didn't load yet. So it usually does take some time for it to update. So just be patient. This can take up to five minutes sometimes. So when you try going to the website, it may not load at first. Yep. So I'm just gonna pause the video and then be back when it finally works. Okay, so it's finally working. Uh, it's finally updated, so now when I go to www.youchoose.tk and hit enter, it loads the Google site. So that's awesome. We have one problem though. When we go to HTTPS, youchoose.tk, it doesn't work. Um, so it only works when we put www in front of it. So in order to fix this, there's a site, or website called nakedssl.com so what it will do it is it will like create a 301 redirect or a permanent redirect from your naked domain so in my case you choose that tk to the one with the www in front of it which is www.youchoose.tk so once you get onto nakedssl.com just click the blue get it now button that was in the top right corner uh, register and then put your name in put your email in and then put your password in. I'm gonna be like canceling this domain so you might not be able to visit it. Okay, so put the password, check the box. Okay, so now it should give you a verification email. Just go to your Gmail or whatever email you use to sign up and then click confirm my account when it's opening up the email. You can close the, uh, the Gmail site and the naked SSL site. So now put in the, your domain in the naked domain section and then redirect to make sure www is in front of it. So like I'm gonna select USA because that's 
where my targets are probably at. So then I'll copy this IP that it gives you in step three, just by clicking it. You don't have to highlight and then control C or whatever, for me command C, but just click it and it should copy to your clipboard. And then go back to the free knob, and then in the target, just paste that IP that it gave you. Leave the name blank and make sure that the type is an A record. Okay, so once this adds, we should be able to continue. So, record added successfully. Yep, there we go. So now, we can go back to nakedssl.com, click the blue DNS updated button, and now we have to wait a little bit before it updates, just like all the other times we had to wait before it updates. So there's this check DNS now button. So once you click it, it might not work so just be patient and wait for the DNS record to actually update it can take again like up to five minutes sometimes so and then all you have to do is wait for the virtual host and then you don't have to wait for the SSL certificate you just have to wait for the virtual host to be created after the DNS record updates it's a lot of information but I'm sure it's you guys can do it so I'll be back when the DNS record is updated Okay, so the DNS record has updated. As you can see, it says the updated under it. Now we just have to wait for the virtual host to be created. So it will say created where it says waiting. I'm gonna refresh. Okay, yes, it's created. Like I said, you don't have to wait for the SSL certificate. You can just go to that naked domain now. So HTTPS, you choose .tk. And now it should redirect. Oh, hold on. Uh, advanced. Proceed. Okay, yeah, it does work. So that's perfect. So everything's working now. So https colon slash slash you choose dot tk. Yep, there we go. So I really hope this tutorial helped. And yeah, feel free to put in your site in the comment section so we can all check it out. But yeah, this is really cool. If you have any questions, just go to my website darshk.tk and then you can go to the tech forum fill out the form, it'll give you a link, and then you can go into the form from there, and then post your question, and you'll get an answer, hopefully, from the community. But yeah, I really hope this helped. And yeah, that was a new tutorial, and I guess the written version is here, you can always find it. Just one more thing, uh, just letting you know that re renewal of the website, like, you, the ownership of the domain is actually free. Uh, you can do it 14 days before the expiry of your domain. And that's it. Thank you guys. And I'll see you again soon.